The THX sound system is now on more than 700 screens worldwide, and it's available for the home. This year marks the 10th anniversary of THX, and the audience is still listening. You probably haven't heard that noise in quite a while. It's called the Deep Note, and it used to be a staple of a company called THX, a company that has largely fallen out of the public spotlight. However, they're not down and out. In fact, THX is alive and well. In this video, I sit down with THX Vice President of Global Technologies, Steve Martz, to go over what THX does to help give you the best movie experience possible at home and in theaters. First and foremost, what does THX stand for? It literally means Tom Holman's experiment, THX. So of course, THX 1138 was George Lucas's first movie. So when we built a sound system and someone realized we've got a guy who did this named Tom Holman, we only have to come up with a term for the letter X <laughs> to make it a kind of double entendre that goes down through the ages and causes people to ask that question forever, THX. And they came up with Tomlinson Holman's experiment. So if that's what THX means as a company name, what do they do and what are they about? THX is not a speaker system or recording studio. It's a quality assurance company. THX was founded in 1983 by George Lucas with its headquarters in San Francisco, California. There's really an, an, an intrinsic uh, feel to um, the way uh, George looks at uh, quality and the way he looks at everything that he does. And so his bloodlines are all through THX and everything that we do. Um, you know, his commitment to quality and making sure that, you know, his movie magic is delivered to the consumer is kind of what was the genesis of, of, of THX. THX certified products have a reputation for having incredible playback quality. The company holds the line and creates high playback standards for movie theaters, home theaters, computer speakers, game consoles, and car speaker systems. Since THX does not specialize in any one particular sound format, but rather the quality of the playback, any and all sound formats can be played on THX certified products. THX standards for sound are so high that their company name is often referenced when it comes to setting up home systems. However, the reputation for THX didn't happen overnight. It started back in the 1980s, right after Star Wars became a box office phenomenon. So, you know, back THX was, uh, you know, sort of conceived in the early 80s, you know, before THX is what we know it is now. Um, he hired Tom Holman to sort of look at the entire, um, you know, movie making process. Uh, at, at that time, George was looking to build Skywalker Ranch. Um, you know, he has all this great success with his uh, Star Wars movies. And um, he's like, well, I, I, his commitment to quality is looking at how to improve um, just the, the, you know, the, the, the ability for consumers to hear and see what he's creating. Um, and at that time, you know, if you think back, you know, the, 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 there was sort of a chicken and egg situation with the movie industry. One, one thing that's it, it's continues today, which is really important, um, is that what happens in the post stage, on the, on the, on the, on the mixing stage, has to, uh, that environment and that, that characterization has to also be the same in the movie theater. Because so everything they do there is exactly the same as it happens um, when you go to your local cinema. But the thing is that they didn't really, those, those speaker systems were pretty much outdated at the time um, that THX was created. So Tom Holman really looked from the ground up and uh, you know, sort of evaluated every single part of what makes a uh, movie sound um, you know, in, in a cinema in a studio. I mean, he's looking at the, the speakers, you know, um, well, if, if, you know, this is state of the art, um, but we're not really being, we're not really able to hear um, the, all the lows and hear all the highs. So what, what are current developments in uh, sound technology that he, he can take advantage of and put together as a better package that better represents what's going on in the, on the, on the mix stage? 
And I think more than anything else, what THX is, is not necessarily a, a single technology um, or a single um, uh, you know, piece of hardware. It really is a, uh, a, a selection and um, a conglomeration of, of all the best things, all the best developments that are happening um, in the industry at the time and putting them together in, into a package that really became a paradigm shift for how the movie industry um, can can uh, reproduce sound and picture in, inside a, a dub stage in a, in a cinema. So that was what was so unique. Is we're, we're not necessarily one thing. It's more of uh, the, the, the package and assemblage of all the things that can go together to create this. So what are some of the technologies that THX creates or enhances to give you that incredible experience? Well, we have something called an X curve, which is a, um, a, a, um, a figure response playback equalization curve. Does, does environment A, you know, equal environment, you know, Z? Uh, sometimes it is, it is the same. Is the same, and like in, this, in the movie industry, there are you know literally standards um, that that help make sure that happens. You know, um, but maybe not in home theater, right? You know, at least, certainly not at the time. You know, how do you how do you get content from the studio, you know, to the to the home theater, and what is what is what is different? What is the same? Um, you know, one one thing that's different is environment. Like you're thinking of a li large you know space. So what happens is there's a null in the center. So you were right on axis to the speaker. It was hard to really hear um, you know the, uh, the the direct sound. But what it was great at was creating a diffuse surrounding environment, which really really um, uh, um, which which did a great job at sort of mimicking what the uh, surround arrays sound like in a, in a cinema. It gave you that large, diffuse uh, feel. So surround was sort of uh, bouncing around the room in a way and returning to the listener as if it was in a large space. So it gave you that sort of sense of envelopment and size, even though you're in a really small, small space. Um, we developed a few other technologies at the same time. One was called re-EQ. Um, I had mentioned the X-curve um, previously. So um, this X-curve actually is um, kind of rolls off um, starting at two kilohertz. Um, in the high frequency band, and um, it uh, sort of, you know, if you if you're mixing to this curve, what actually if you played that mix back in a flat environment, it sounds really really bright. So what we did was um, create something called re-EQ that would actually sort of mimic the X curve in the home environment, and so it, the, there's a and sort of an apples to apples type of um, environment where. Uh, so there's sort of a, an, a replication of that environment um, where you know you don't have too many high frequencies. It has the same uh, uh, response as you would in a cinema. We developed another technology called uh, timbre matching. So I mentioned these dipolar speakers. So um, timbre or the character um, of a speaker. So if you have a vocal or a voice in your um, your left center right speakers, you, you hear them a certain way. They're designed a certain in, in, in a certain uh, way that you can you will you will hear voices. Um, very clearly and cleanly, but when you move to this diffuse surround array, um, the timbre changes dramatically, whether it's the surround array with us in the cinema or whether it's this uh, a surround array in the home. So we have a, an equalization curve um, that helps more closely balance the sound so that as you move sounds from on screen to off screen, they more closely match in timbre. While THX is known for exceptional sound quality, they look at a slew of other features. As touched on previously, THX also dabbles with image quality. They're currently owned by Razer, the gaming peripherals company, with quite a few Razer products achieving the THX certification. THX is, you know, uh, you know happy to be a, a you know part of Razer. You know, they they have a great commitment to quality, and um, you know we operate in, completely independently um, as a company. You know, we have actually worked with Razer for you know many 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 years. You know, we're, you know certifying some of their products. We operate independently, and we've always um, you know operated you know agnostically. You know, where you know our standards and our and our commitment to quality. Um, is um, kind of what drives us, and we, you know, we find partners that that sort of share that same vision. In fact, THX partners with a slew of other companies you might recognize, such as BenQ, Panasonic, Klipsch, Epson, TCL, and Sharp. THX had this to say about partnerships: THX has many partners. In the THX certified category alone, you'll find more than 500 products listed, many of which are top sellers for their brands and have won numerous industry awards and accolades. We'd like to thank the THX certification process helped with those successes. THX also partners with Razer on gaming devices. Keep an eye on THX for future, further possible announcements in the gaming sector. Tell me your thoughts about THX, their products, their certifications, and their quality in the comment section below. This is Movie University, education in cinema.